Welcome to your Ranger News. Everything from sports to clubs. To interviews. I'm Jimmy McCann. I'm Greg Brockway. I'm Brandon Shadam. Genesee Community College will be having an instant decision day here on Wednesday, March 25th. An admissions counselor will be here to review students' applications and give them an admission, admissions decision. Students may also receive help completing the applications or receiving information about the college. There are a limited number of time slots, so students will need to sign up no later than March 16th in the counseling office. The deadline to apply for the Monroe County Sheriff's Office Teen Police Academy is fast approaching. Applications will be accepted in the counseling office until Friday, March 6th. Applications can be picked up in the counseling office. The next GSA meeting will be tomorrow, Wednesday, March 4th, during activity period in room 401. Please bring $2 if you can. We will be discussing an upcoming activity. All are welcome. Attention all seniors. Your 100-day celebration is Wednesday, March 18th. Please be in the East Gym no later than 7, 10 a.m. Your 100-day picture will be taken promptly at 7.15. A Justin's representative will be there to give you information and order forms for your cap and gown. Orders will be taken the following week on Tuesday, March 24th and Wednesday, March 25th during all three lunches in front of the cafeteria. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hill in the main office. Interested in traveling to Spain and Italy, Senora Montañez will be having an informational meeting for Spain and Italy 2021 summer trip tomorrow, Wednesday, March 4th, during activity period in room 504. Attention all students in Spanish Club. Come join us make Spanish food. We will be having a meeting on Thursday, March 5th in room 504 during activity period. Those 9th or 10th graders interested in traveling to Costa Rica, please have a parent or guardian and attend one of the two info nights. There on March 9th and March 11th from 6 to 7 p.m. in room 417. This week we will have student info meetings during activity period in room 417 on March 5th and 6th. The health office has created a wall space where we would like staff and students to be able to hang photos of their pets. We are calling it the Ruby and Mickey's wall after our schools to support animals and is located just outside the health office. Please bring in a picture of whatever pet you may have at home so we can hang it on our wall. Congratulations to the following students whose artwork won in the Spenceport Lions Club art contest on Saturday. First prize, Ella Genovese. Second prize, Mark Frank. Honorable mention, Daisy Fowmer, Samantha Ricotta, and Stella Shortino. All of the artwork will be displayed in the Ogden Library during the month of March. Congratulations, Spenceport's DECA to the first, for, to first place in New York State DECA competition. First place in PFL, Oriana Gelfuso. First place in food marketing, Baron Rissenthaler. Off, off to Nashville we go. And now to Jeremy with the weather. Good morning everyone. Today's high is forecast to be near 48 degrees. There is a special weather statement in effect this morning for dense fog. Otherwise, rain will develop this afternoon and continue into this evening before tapering off overnight. The lows overnight will be in the middle 30s. Tomorrow will be cooler in the middle 40s and a pleasant day with somewhat thick cloud cover. Friday features a clipper system for Canada, bringing snow. Early amounts look to be in the 2 to 4 inch range. Winds will also be an issue. More on that and another potential storm next week will come on Thursday. Until then, stay tuned and have a weather -tastic day. Now, back to the Ranger News Desk. Thanks, Jeremy, and that's all for today, Rangers. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Ranger News. And remember, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. <laughs>